New tonight, a story of delayed justice. A serial rapist who targeted Cleveland area women will likely spend the rest of his life behind bars after two rape kits were finally tested a decade later. This man, Ronald Wheeler, already in prison for four prior rapes, was sentenced to 20 more years in prison this week. 3 News investigator Rachel Polanski spoke with the survivors who waited so long for justice. As she walked down the street on a cold December day in 2006, she noticed a man coming toward her. When he got close to me, he pulled out a um, he pulled out a gun. Then he led her to a nearby abandoned building in the Fairfax neighborhood on the east side of Cleveland. He took me in there and he raped me, and I was scared. And my li my life did flash. I thought I was going to die that day. Three months later, and just one mile away, another woman shares a strikingly similar encounter. He stood over me and put, uh, God, we guess it was a pistol. I never did see the pistol, but I did feel something hard and said, um, if you don't cooperate, I'll harm you and your child. 15 years later, their physical injuries have healed, but their emotional scars still run deep. After their attacks, they both went to nearby hospitals where sexual assault exams, commonly called rape kits, were performed. Those rape kits were then turned over to Cleveland police, where they sat on shelves untested, adding to a backlog of nearly 14,000 kits across the state that had been collected between 1993 and 2010. As 3 News Investigates has reported, in May 2011, Governor DeWine, who was then our attorney general, asked agencies to begin sending these untested kits to Ohio's crime labs. By 2018, Ohio had finally cleared the backlog. I never thought that I would get justice for it. Never thought that I would get justice for it, but I did. Meanwhile, the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office established its own sexual assault kit task force in 2013 to look into leads that resulted from the previously untested kits. And last year, DNA matches connected these attacks to serial rapist Ronald Wheeler, a 48-year-old Cleveland man who terrorized women in the 1990s and 2000s on the east side of Cleveland. Um, so those two kits linked to him through DNA. They were unsolved. Uh, until this task force solved those cases through the use of DNA. And Wheeler, who has now been convicted of raping six women, is not eligible for release until 2075, meaning he will likely die behind bars. But it's one less Ronald Wheeler out there today because women came forward. And if more women would come forward, there would be a, a lot less Ronald Wheelers out there. Exactly why it's so important to report. And by the way, state law now requires that police send rape kits to the crime lab within 30 days of an assault so that a rape kit backlog never happens again. Rachel Polanski, 3 News.